Welcome back guys to another video here at Hostways Exotics and today we're going to be feeding the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is the Crotalus adamantius and is the world's largest venomous snake in North America. And this snake is capable of growing up to 8 feet long. That's 2.4 meters for you people that like to use the metric system. But they have a distinctive diamond shaped pattern going down his back which is how they get their name, Diamondback Rattlesnake. So... Another cool thing about this snake is that they are primarily found in the southeastern United States, including states such as Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, and they inhabit a variety of habitats including forests, swamps, and grasslands. But the Easter Diamondback is an awesome snake nonetheless. They are ovoviviparous. They give birth to live young, which is pretty awesome in the reptile world if you do say so myself. There is another rattlesnake that's really, really close that they can actually breed with, which is another snake we have locally, which is the timber rattlesnake, the Crotalus hortus. They are a whole different breed of rattlesnakes, look completely different, but they are close enough in their speciation that they can interbreed and make a hybrid cross, which have produced some of the world's largest rattlesnakes like you've seen on Tyler Nolan's channel. So... No, another one, Venom Central. If you don't know him, make sure you check him out too. He got some pretty awesome snakes and some pretty awesome videos. So, need to say I don't want to bore you guys too much about his facts and knowledge and everything that just be floating around in my dome piece here. We are gonna go ahead, grab our little mouse friend, and what we are gonna do is, since he's over here, we are gonna put our little mouse friend in over here on this side. Pull out our key. And we got lights over here on the other side of the cage. Just in case we need to take it over there. You know what I mean? He's looking pretty hungry. These mice, these rats have been doing him pretty well, I think. Oh. He's got him pooping over there. Hope I can get a good shot with that in. Still trying to work out filming in these terrariums here. Oh, my bad. Don't look at me. Maybe I can get like a camera or something to put on the inside in there. That might be something like get a little GoPro. Put in there to get that inside shot and then we can have an angle coming from the outside as well that'd be a good little purchase to work on give you some different stuff like that i think what do you guys think make sure you tell me down in the comments get like an inside angle using these new terrariums like this got a couple other things a little modifications i want to do to them make them a little bit more secure since they're going to be in use and i'm going to be making some more kind of like this so, I'll probably be making my own cages pretty soon. Like, let me know if you guys want to buy one. They'll probably look real similar to these here. But I will make them for venomous snakes and make some cool things for them as well. Try to come at it from a little different angle. I might even step away from like using PVC. PVC is great. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoy these. But I really want to get something more like a vision cage. I like the vision cages with the sliding glass. The flip tops like this is totally fine, but probably need to stop moving so much. He's sitting there staring at me. <laughs> 